Hi, this is Cody with Durango Motor Company. I'm just showing off that Denali. That's Brian. He's putting stickers on. Way for the people, Brian. Alrighty. Sorry, I just wanted to get an actual video to show you the scale of the upgrade because you're looking at moving from a LT last generation Suburban to the top of the line GMC Denali. This is as nice as it comes. You'll see it does have that new body stock because it is a 21. Only got 5,000 miles on it. Keyless entry and exit. Mares fold up with that. Before we even go inside the car, I just want you to appreciate the redesign. Split exhaust, parking sonars in the back. Of course, we got the backup camera. One touch opening tailgate. And here's where you'll see the real differences. So back here, we do have buttons to collapse the seat. Oop. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> we have buttons to clap these seats right here. Go. And those would collapse a little better if these were collapsed. So let me collapse those. There we go. One button collapses all of them. Super easy. All this storage space. Now I did hear a child crying in the background, so I imagine you will have those seats up for the most part. The back ones are going to be automatically moving back up, besides the headrest, but the front ones are going to need to be manually pulled back up. For the kid, this bad man pajama is about as safe as it comes on the road. Four-wheel drive, so keep you safe in the snow. They can get in without having to worry about scratching paint anything, ripping the door handles off, because it will unlock if you're near the car. This will slide forward and back. And then you'll see it actually shrinks down a little and it'll pop up. There we go. For these captain's chairs, we'll hop back here because there's actually a hell of a lot back here before we even get to the fun stuff up front. So you'll see we do have the full panoramic sunroof. Do have different HDMI cables, USB type C, heated seats in the rear. Temperature control in the rear. Now I know what you're thinking. What are these HDMI cables for? For this screen right here. You can either do that or connect them through Android. If they're using Apple devices, you will need to use the cable, however. But automatic dropping steps for the little ones. Makes it a little easier to reach and those will pull back up. Let's give it a second. There we go. Make sure no one's feet are caught in there. Right here, what you'll see is the heads-up display. It does display some stuff up here, your RPMs, uh, your speed, and the works. Of course, you have full power seats, parking sonars, lane-keeping systems. Do, 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 do. Turn it on. One thing that's gonna be weird, the seat does automatically pull back. Sorry, that spooked me a little bit. <laughs> These are the little triggers you pull to change gears. Neutral, you just press, drive, you gotta pull, so you're not gonna accidentally pull one when you're not looking. This is another way to control those seats in the back. Sliding glass top, the tilt, and the screen right there. Up here you'll see, this will not look anything like your previous Suburbans, because they did upgrade. This one does have the Apple CarPlay Android Auto. I believe it's wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but I could be wrong, okay? <laughs> Amazon Alexa. This whole car is powered by Alexa. You can connect it to the Wi-Fi at your house. Heated, cooled seats. I know you didn't have cooled on your previous one, so there's a little upgrade for you. Wireless charging pads right here. So you just set your phone right there, plug it in right there if you want, but it will charge wirelessly. Lock the rear climate. Got dual climate zones for the driver and the passenger. You do have your low gears. Up here's where you'll see the most difference on the steering wheel. Got your adaptive cruise control, pre-collision sen sensing, and that's gonna be a camera system up here. I wish I could show that HUD in the cam. Can you see that flickering a little bit? Let me see if I'll zoom it, because this is the coolest thing. It doesn't catch on camera very well. Yeah, there it is, you can see that. There we go. Sorry, back to the steering wheel. It is heated. A little plus, you can control your informational screen through here. Miles per hour, entertainment, navigation, phone, setting, and this is where you'll change all your settings 
your speeds warning, your heads up display, remote relearn. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with this. Oh, yeah. To reteach a new key. They make that easy. Awesome. Heads up display settings. You can change the speed limit style on there to speed limit bar or speed sign. But that'll just tell you what the speed we need to be going is. You can also see the car on that heads up display. I'll show you all that in person whenever we get you down here to look. Here's your four wheel drive settings. You do have auto, which is what I'd leave it in all the time personally. Four high, four low, and two high. You don't see four low in a lot of these SUVs. And you got different train modes. So you got sport, off road, tow haul. Let's head home here. You can see it does have Sirius XM still. Is Sirius XM capable? If we go over here, we can control our AC settings, front or rear, and we can make that independent back there. Lock them out so the kids can't change it in the back if you don't want to play them with it. Ooh. Center console's got some fun stuff in it too. It does have this little divider. It got some batteries in there. What are the batteries for? They're for the headphones. Those go for the back seat. Got some more charging stations, a cable reroute area for you. Oh, <laughs> let me pop this back in here. That's important. You do also have a light so you can see what you need even in the dark without resorting to using these lights. This will lock how far back your thing goes, but I think I covered most of the big ones. You do have the upgraded Bose audio system. I know that your previous one did have the upgraded Bose audio system as well. They have done a little bit of work, so it will sound a little better in this one. Uh, but I think that's all the good stuff. The HUD controls. Awesome. I'll turn this engine off. And before I let you go, I'm going to show you the keys a little bit because they are super cool. Got a couple settings on here. Of course, you got the remote start feature. Got the open. You got right here where it closes it or opens the back latch. But that is all power will close and open. You do have, oh, huh, how did I forget this? I'm so sorry. One of the coolest features in this car. It's got the overhead camera. I knew I was forgetting something. There's backup, here's your side views, your tow hitch, if you had the tow hitch installed. There is a section for it, it doesn't have the actual hitch, but you can put it in there. This will determine whether there's lines, zoom in, zoom out, up front. <laughs> it's just so much fun to play with. But, let's turn those lines back on. <laughs> there we go. And one thing as well that you'll notice with the, that is the, the mirrors actually adjust. Let's see if I can make it do that again. Well, can't get them to do it again. <laughs> there we go. And I forgot to put it back in park before I turned it off, but it did do that for me. Always a nice little safety feature. Thank you very much for your time, Ty.